GPRC 5D is a very selective antigen that is highly expressed on malignant plasma cells and not so much or hardly on any other cell in the human body. It is expressed in, on the skin and especially the hair follicles, but uh, with this selective expression, it makes it an ideal target uh, for anti-immune uh, uh, therapy focused uh, therapies in relapsed refractory multiple myeloma and perhaps in the future also in uh, newly diagnosed patients. Well, we started with a first in human phase one design. So we were looking for the, um, for the maximum tolerated dose. And after that, looking for efficacy, safety, and tolerability. Uh, so it's a classic uh, phase one uh, design. In the end, we could not find the maximum tolerated dose. So we stopped at, um, at recommended phase two dose. And two different doses were selected as RP2Ds. Well, our key findings was that both doses, and one is uh, 405 micrograms per kilogram every week dosing, and the other one was 800 microgram per kilogram every other week dosing, that they had a comparable efficacy and also safety uh, uh, profile. And in the end, we, ex we uh, extended um, the, the program. So uh, 30 patients were in the first cohort and 44 patients were in the second, the every other week cohort dosing. And uh, with that, we saw also um, longer duration of responses. Uh, they were between 10 and 30 months me median. Well, the most common side effects were cytokine release syndrome and um, uh, dysgeusia and a skin and nail related events as non-heme uh, adverse events. And uh, CRS was mostly grade one, some grade two, and only one grade three um, uh, CRS. And that was managed very easily with one uh, dose of tocilizumab or some corticosteroids. And the other side effects were uh, dyscusia and, and, and skin-related events. And they passed away after longer dosing, or we had to delay dosing or um, um, delay the, uh, the dose uh, intensity of in, in the treatment of the patients. And uh, as heme um, adverse events, we saw some uh, pancytopenia, cytopenias, but they were mostly on the uh, step up dosing and the grade one and uh, or the cycle one and two, and they um, resolved uh, spontaneously. So they were higher grade, but did not seem to be a post problem at all. And it, also, we did not see um, much more infections. We did see infections in 40 to 50 percent of patients, but no uh, treatment treatment related death occurred. So we are concluding that we have a, a novel uh, targeting antigen in multiple myeloma. So next to CD38, BCMA, we now have GPRC5D that can be targeted. And these uh, results are very encouraging because this is a single drug activity. And to see these numbers uh, as uh, efficacy between 64 and 70 percent overall response rate is really, really astonishing. So at the moment, we are looking at um, some other dosing frequencies. We are looking at combination therapies. And I think uh, the, the, the future will be that this will be a very active drug already, a single agent for relapsed and refractory multiple myeloma patients.